Legend! Hey there, witches and demons, it's Voskir bringing you another. What was that? Bringing you another video, apparently, if she can get the words out right. <laughs> A couple of things I'd like to start off the video with though, uh, feel free to skip if you wish. If I look harassed it's because I've just finished a heck of a day at work and if my hair looks weird it's because I've been wearing a headset because I've been shouting at people it feels like all day to day because now apparently I'm just in charge of projects now which is... Anyway, it's a whole thing. It's, it's just I am harassed. If I look harassed it's because I am harassed and another thing you're probably gonna know, I have a little bit of tape on my thumb. Yes, I know. Let me just check right before I go getting this wrong. Currently it is minus nine degrees Celsius here right now. Minus nine degrees Celsius and me thinking that I could just toddle on out to the bin and put stuff in the bin, forgot that bins freeze over. I don't know, like trash cans, but they're not the tin version that you guys have in America. I don't know, the plastic, the big plastic ones. Anyway, I thought I could just open the bin, you know, like just like you would normally. No, 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 it completely frozen shut and me not going and getting a jug of boiling water as you should do, decided, no, I have power, I have strength, like, I have powerful nerd arms, I can lift this up. Cracked my nail. All the, like, that far down into the quick, and then the blood, just. So, I have a bit of tape on my nail to stop it catching on things, until it grows up high enough for me to, 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 to get it off without bleeding everywhere. So, that's, in case you're wondering what this is about, that's what that is. And you guys have been absolutely fucking murdering me with brilliant artwork on Twitter. I can't believe half of the stuff that I've got from you guys. Hold on, I did have the folder and then I lost it. And then now I have it here again, right? Honestly, like some of this fan art is absolutely incredible. So I want to give a massive shout out. <laughs> I'm going to, <laughs> okay, I'm probably going to get names wrong. So they're going to appear on screen at the same time. Uh, Tham, Thai, Thai, this name, this, this person's Twitter has, has sent me a couple of pieces. First one that they gave me was the Abba Wolf, which is just, this really made me laugh. This really made me laugh. And then they collaborated with Blight Star Art, which is a name I can say, uh, on this sort of a knock knock knocking on Hootie's door piece, which I did share on my community tab. I've also had a couple of other pieces from Blight Star Art though. They've given me so much art. It is unreal. And before anybody thinks it's weird about the king being down, my top, they, first of all they asked if that was okay and secondly I was like he's a baby, of course it's fine, like if I had a kitten or so that is where they would be to keep warm. Let's not forget that's what these were actually made for before anybody gets weird with it. I thought these pieces were adorable and great and creative and yeah so you have been absolutely spoiling me. And then another one comes from Pom Pudding 12 look at this adorable little piece here. And I just love it, they've got little Hamish as my like little palisman, which I'm totally down for. Like at first I was like, would I want a fennec fox to help me here better? Would I want a kingfisher to fly? Because I thought you had to have a bird to fly at that point. But then I was like, of course Hamish, of course it would be Hamish. It would make sense, right? He's right there, he's always been there. I don't know if he's going to be blocked by my logo. Hamish, come over, come over buddy, there you go, there he is, like, he's always been there, he's always there for me, so yeah, makes sense. And then finally, the other piece by an artist that I've shouted out plenty of times on this channel comes from Frank Ace underscore art, <laughs> and the, the, yeah, they went there, this is, yeah, they went, that. this is, yeah. So a massive thank you to all of you guys for the incredible pieces of art. Um, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. But you're here to watch some reactions. I'm here to provide the reactions. So let's dive in. Uh, we're gonna bring the video up. And we're not playing from our usual site today, guys, because the usual site is down. So I don't know how well this one's gonna run. Hopefully it runs okay. <laughs> Hopefully it runs okay. Uh, and we're gonna bring it up here. And now straight away we're pausing. <laughs> we're not even starting the video yet, we're pausing. Uh, okay, so limited is there more. Uh, remember to drink water. That's cute. Um, uh, is that from King or is that to remind King to drink water? I don't know. Why does Belos want it? Uh, why does he want it? That's a good question. Okay, so they're working on Portal, portal Door 2.0. I love that they've got the picture of them there from Grob. <laughs> Titan Blood by Amity New Glove. Okay, it's adorable so far. I'm happy. Okay, let's, let's go. It is 
so nice to be surrounded by all of Lulu's dearest friends. Oh. Oh, hell, Lulu. Aww. We're here to celebrate the new assistant curator of the Supernatural Museum of History. Here's to you, Lulu. Cheers. Curator. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. They're throwing a party. All right. Okay. For the new. Oh. Oh. That's so fucking cute. Like, trust Hootie to just. I love how Lucy even has a hat on though. Like she's busy but she's got a hat on. That's very cute. And I love Mama's Mama Edith here. Mama I should say Mama Clothorn is here. Adorable, adorable, adorable. Right. Okay, let's see what's happening. Cheers. Steve. Hootie, did I miss the toast? Yes, but not the appetizers. You want it? There's an extra one. I'm working on it. No, 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 that's okay. Uh, where's Lily? We want to congratulate her. Oh, I took the fish! Oh, I wish I could stay longer, but I must be off on my next adventure. The Emperor wanted to make sure you weren't getting into any trouble. And to clear out your office. Yeah. I left a box of your knickknacks inside. History's supposed to be exciting after all. <laughs> Okay, she's kind of awesome, but I'm not really liking her <laughs> at the moment. Maybe that will change. Like right now, she's kind of been a little bit of a bitch, and I've really grown to like Lilith over the course of the series. So, but Belos is is keeping an eye on them, making sure she's not getting into any trouble. He's still, of course, he is. Of course, he is. That must be like what a feeling that must feel like to be to feel like you're being watched. If I can even get my fucking words out today. That's like, hmm. Hmm. Okay, hen. Thing? Who is that? Flora Desplora. Bad girl historian, celebrity, and my former mentor in the Emperor's Coven. I have questions about that name. And I have questions about my life! <laughs> Congratulations on your new job! Oh, we're just bypassing. After careful analysis during okay. the Edwardian era, I believe. Oh yeah, I meant to say, um, we're reacting to the Evil House <laughs> season two, episode twelve, elsewhere and anywhere or whatever. Yeah, that. <laughs> Did I not totally miss that from the introduction of our video? I think. Fuck knows. Who knows? But anyway. Sorry, here it is. Barely the number. The year is 1660. Uh, or is it 70? Mm. The Collector. And he will tell me what I need to complete my mission. But first, my companions and I must face... The Collector. Okay, so he was the one... They gave me a pronoun there. So he was the one that appeared in um, Ida's thing. You guys were calling out to me that I missed that. When I was watching the episode where we got um, Ida's harpy form. So effectively the owl beast thing, the person wearing the big cloak, they were called the collector because it was in the credits at the end. So it's not technically a spoiler. And it was them that grabbed the owl beast thing and turned it into the curse. So the owl beast was a real life free creature until the collector came along. So that's, so he's now seeking out, Philip Whitabane is now seeking out the collector. Interesting, okay. What kind of jerk puts the in front of their name anyway? But the collector may know how to make a real portal door. Luce, I've got leg hair older than you. This Philip guy worked on his door for years. <laughs> same though, same, Luce. You're, 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 you're very young. I have leg hair older than you. That's so fucking good, man. That's so fucking good. That's hilarious. That's very good. Sorry. That's just that's one of the jokes that you just that just tickles you, you know? Just tickles you. Cheers. Try not to beat yourself up too much. Mm. Yeah. I just wish I could go back in time and talk to him. But History's back top day, ten I plot holes. Stop it. That's incredible. That is amazing. That's hilarious. That's so fucking good. It is the plot hole of everything ever, right? Of an urban legend junkie. Twigfoot, Lenderman, possums. Those. Is this the episode everybody was like, you're gonna need to pause a lot because there's so much happening? I can't keep pausing. I can't, like, my, my edits are already so long that I can't keep pausing, but those were references that were 
Hilarious. I'm definitely gonna go back and check them out. For real. <laughs> yeah, sure, kid. Anyway, there are stories about these things called time pools. Me and Lily used to search for them. She'd oh, say I forced no. her into it, but I think Wait, she had more fun than me. Lilith, of course! Thanks, Ida! Sitting for six of that. Oh, Lilith! I see you're dealing with all this. Don't let Flora get you down. I even started calling you cool Aunt Lilith in my journal. Uh, oh, really? You can't be a bad girl historian. And I know how. Oh, I remember these. Good time. Right. I'm now worried because you little fucking shits have been leaving me comments. Or I'll stop fidgeting. You little fuckers have been leaving me comments of like fake spoilers and everything. As I have asked, it was my fault, I did ask for them. And you've been leaving ones, loads of them to do with time stuff. Loads of like, this person is this person's father, but only in this reality. This person goes back in time and does this thing. This person goes back. And now that I'm like, I always thought that they were like blatant, obviously fake. But I enjoyed reading them anyway. But now that I'm like on this episode, I'm like, oh shit, did you guys actually leave me some real ones hidden in amongst them? And I'm just like, oh no. I bet you've left references and stuff hidden in them. Fuck, man, you guys are trolls. Blood mixed with the magical algae of the boiling sea. It needed more power than I could ever give it. <gasps> Stay right there. Oh no. Would Titan Blood do the trick? Ooh. Let's do it. Wow. Right, okay, and that's her white raven staff palisman. My equipment is first rate. <laughs> Rock! Oh, it's not gonna be a rock, is it? Oh, oh! Blood was too dry. Is it not algae blooming season? Oh no! Luce, stop sticking your face in something magical! Wow! Was it my tools? Are they broken? You found the time tools. In your face! Wow. Sure, okay. A stone sleeper from the Hectaceous period. Tonight I shall revel so hard I shan't stand any longer. I shall revel myself to death. No wonder no one's found these before. They're completely hidden from sight. What she be doing in the sand? Be ye a crab maiden? Philip's time! No, she been... Yes, I am a crab maiden. That was a reference that's been left in my comments. A crab maiden. Somebody called me that at one point, I'm pretty sure. You guys are wee fuckers. <laughs> you threw shit. Like, when I asked for fake spoilers and head cannons and stuff, I didn't expect to get some truth mixed in with it. And now you all are shouting the word crikey at me. Everywhere I go, I'm just seeing crikey now being shouted at me. And I'm like, I don't know what it means. Somebody like spoke about some sort of Steve Irwin like reference, and I'm like, is it? Like, I don't know now. Like, I don't know. It was uh, I was telling you guys to come up with fake cannon head spoilery things. Was that a good idea? I don't know. I've managed to avoid all the spoilers, so I'm hoping so. But like, you guys are just trolling me with them now, <laughs> and I love it. Luce, look. These are the oldest barnacles I've ever had on my head. I found it. I found Philip's time! We must remember, if the tide comes in, we could be trapped. Paradoxes will be a danger, and don't oh. get me started on the bloody fly effect. <clears throat> the bloody but fly effect. Really? That is brilliant. That is so fucking good. But she mentioned about the tide coming in and stuff. One of these things is gonna go wrong. One of these things is gonna happen. Let's get ready for it. A historian like myself is all about taking risks. So, let's boogie down to History Town. I love her! I actually love her. Cool I a witch lit. Oh, hey, Ma, why are you still in town? We got something from yesterday? Your father wanted to swing by. Well, tell him I'm busy. Maybe you could tell him yourself? He's just outside. I get to meet my grandpa? Yes, you know the Clawthorn clan was once known for their palisman making skills. Okay, there's loads happening here. <laughs> I know I'm like, I need to keep my recordings down, but I'm also like, plot and shit. Right, okay, so dad's here. Does Ida feel bad about 
turning on him? Is that what's happening here? Because she's like sweating all over. She doesn't want to see him. But the last interaction we saw that they had, she's the one that attacked him. So does she just feel bad about it? But also King being like, I'm going to get to meet my granddad. That's so fucking cute. <laughs> my little baby boy. He's so adorable. <laughs> oh, we could do this. We could do this. Yes. yes. And Del? He was the best of them all. Cool. I want to see this interaction. Now loose. They're going to be nice, ah, aren't they? Good tidings, kind witches. Oh, are they going to... Oh, 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 I see what's happening. <gasps> Oh, I see where it's going. Did you guys hear that metaphorical penny fucking drop? Jesus Christ, how did it take me this long to realise this is where the episode was going? Right, okay, so they're going to realise. Obviously, they already knew about, we already knew about the Savage Ages not actually being savage and that Belos is actually the fucker that came in and ruined everything. But this is where they're going to see it themselves. I don't think Luce will care too much, but for Lilith, I think this is going to be huge. Oh, imagine if she did her display on that. Okay. Anyway. Oh. Yes. Cold up. Everything's so actually dangerous. They are. Looks awesome. Why did Bellows want to banish wild magic again? Yeah. Well, exactly. the Titan supposedly doesn't like it, but I bet Flora would scoff at it. Oh, Lily. Excuse me. Have you seen a human around? Round ears? Super smart. <laughs> Give that Aww. back. Oh. I can't believe this. After the bonds of fellowship we forged. Bon. I haven't seen him since I ruined his. I mean, since. The Albies ruined his. <sighs> I'm just not ready, okay? Now yeah. move it. So she's the one that left, not him. Uh, Your pops is such a nice guy. Say, how do you get that scar on his. I want to meet him hey, properly! Dear sister, I can give you snails. I can make you crutches. Um, uh, I can help you find the collector. She's made a promise that she can't so, keep it. You and your aunt Dertrude started traveling together after the Togas attacked your castle. Why didn't you just say you were human too? Hmm. Interesting. Now. Let's take a helmet off. Show them my Anyone ears. bring a torch? Astounding. It took years to find them. Almost as if the world wanted to hide them from me. Oh. I even found one in a snowflake. My dude. Almost as if the world wanted to hide them from me. This seems like the world gave them a loose pretty nicely, so hide them from you because you're a dick. Ah, I can't believe I taught Philip something new. Mm. He's not gonna be the type of person that you think he is, Luce. Line there, curve there. Fascinating. Absolutely. Fascinating. And she just helped him. What wow. is this? A shortcut to the collector. No. Really, Ida? You won't be able to run away this time. Apologies, dearest mother. Dearest sister has flown the dearest coon. Am I too late again? Well, fly safe, Witchlet. Perhaps I'll catch you next time. Oh. His little palisman is a... Hi, Dad. <gasps> Don't come away! I want to see that shit. God damn it, man! But every legend told me that the collector lies there, behind that door. I just can't figure out the mechanism to open it. Perhaps we were destined to meet. Oh, Luce is going to actually help him become. I've seen before. It'll make a remarkable a bad addition guy, to my right? exhibit. It's just. Confidence, the compliments. He says everything you want to hear. It feels uncomfortably familiar. Some of this is pretty weird, but it's the boiling aisles. Everything's a little weird, mm. right? Hey, why don't you keep working on this and I'll go talk to Philip? Philip? 
Why did you bring us here? Oh. I solved the puzzle. I needed a sacrifice. What'd he say? Oh no. Oh, Is this gonna be the Evil Beast? If I can finally get through those doors. You tricked us. It was destiny. No, oh, surely not. Dash. <laughs> I was going to say inevitable. You two were easier to trick than Blue Fang. Hopefully, you and Aunt Dertrude can last longer. Blue Fang, that's what happened to Blue Fang. I was gonna pause on the Blue Fang thing. Oh my god, okay, it's not the Devil Beast. I thought it may have been the Devil Beast. Oh my god. Hey, that better be your own grave you're digging. Yeah, well done. Well done, Mama. Found you. I disagree. It was nice making a cat's paw out of you. I did listen to you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Edith's gonna kill me. Edith's gonna kill me. Edith's gonna kill me. Oh, uh, uh, oh. It's one of those stone sleepers from the Hectaceous period. It must have been hibernating in here for ages. Aww. Did you like that boy? You were listening. Aww. What do you mean, no? I mean, if it's information you want, perhaps we can make an exchange. I'll probably require another sacrifice sooner or later. If you or your aunt want to... Oh, you hateable sorceress! <laughs> Legend! That is how you do it. Well done. Look, I know people out there will be like, you should never condemn violence. Fucking worked, right? I'm Scottish. I'll always... I always condone violence. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Come, Lusura, we're finished here. Nice. Cool aunt. Yeah, she is. <laughs> nice. No loose. We have a little time before the tide comes in. You what did the hell something? if he didn't need it? No, 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 no. Back up, 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 back up. Rewind. If he didn't need it for the portal, what did he need it for? It had the symbol of the collector on it. Are we gonna get an answer to- Evil House. <laughs> Did you just walk into the room fart again and are turning around to walk right back out? Because I swear to God, come on, man. Like, don't do this to me. Mm. Exciting. Ballisters loose. Dead body and ballisters. Right, okay, done. Sorry, I uh, haven't been in touch. There's been a lot going on. <sighs> you disappear from Bones. Oh. You're fixing up my old tower. And then suddenly I see you on a wanted poster. You're and fixing your mother... up my old tower? So that was his tower? That's why the Ebel House never moves from that location then. Right, okay. Also, this little palisman looks a lot like Hunter's, but a yellow form of it. Tells me about the petrification. I wish you'd let us help. But... I do hear I have a grandson now. <laughs> yep, King's a Clawthorn. He can be a handful, but... It's been over 20 years, Witchlet. Well, trying to forgive me, I don't deserve it. Oh. Oh, don't worry. I'm not here to try that again. What is that? It's a palestrum seed. I've been helping the Bat Queen replenish her forests, so someone new can learn the trade. Did you come all the way here just to brag? Yes, but also to say, let the past stay in the past, Witchlet. It's okay to move on. And give Albert my regards. Carving him with you is one of my dearest memories. So she carved with dad. He used to carve palismen. And now he's helping to replenish the forests. And that was like a seed. One of the tree things that he gave to Ida. So now Ida has that. So that's important. And she was rebuilding his tower. Are we going to get to find out more about the tower eventually then? Like what was it? His workstation where he carved them?
Okay. No, I'm fine. This is okay. This is absolutely fine. This is this is fine. He's stuck. I punched him in the face. Groovy, Auntie. <laughs> Alright, you you guys need to stop that. Can't see through my fucking tears. I mean my eye linkage. Um right, okay. He's got like rib a whole rib cage there. And then the eyes why do the eyes look just like the Grimwalker thing that we saw in the book? Or is it something to do with the Titan? No, because that cube was also in the book for the Grimwalker. Is that what he needed that thing for? For the Grimwalker? Whatever the thing that is. <laughs> oh! Were they all palismen? They were all dead palismen, weren't they? So it's... No. You guys no. need to stop that. <laughs> Okay. Those barbarians, those, those witches. That is Belos. That is him. So he's been consuming palismen to keep himself alive? And then Luce taught him the final light glyph. Oh no, Luce, what have you done? <laughs> oh shit. It doesn't matter. I just need, need to live long enough to see this through. <laughs> and you're going to help me collect her. So that thing helps him get possession of the collector or something? That was a lot of take in from an episode. There was, there was, that was, that was, that was. That was a lot. To, that was a lot to take in. That was a lot to take in. That was a lot to deal with. Um. Okay, fuck, right, shit, crap. I feel like Luce has caused harm by going back in time and actually giving him the light glyph. I know she didn't mean to, she thought she was helping. But I feel like that's gonna cause problems because he didn't have that. And look at all the stuff he managed to accomplish with just three. And now he's got the collector thing which she technically helped with as well. Although he would have found somebody else to be the sacrifice. He would have got there eventually with it, so. But now he has control of the collector. He has the collector. Like, I don't know anything about the collector, but that can't be good. And the Collector lived inside the skull of the Titan. Interesting. I feel like, again, it's walked in, farted on us, and walked back out of the room again. Stop it! It was so infuriatingly annoying. I just want some answers! I love the resolution of Ida with her dad, though. That was so fucking precious. I wish we'd got to see Dad meet King, though. I wish we'd got to see that. I feel like for what this show is trying to accomplish, the episodes are too short. That's my problem. Anybody else feeling like that? Like, I feel like this is the kind of show that could be doing with arcane length episodes. Like, the full kind of 45 minutes or more, like, episodes. So, yeah. Anyway, I fucking enjoyed that. That was really good. If you enjoyed it, though, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me because it really helps me. Don't forget to click subscribe because it's free. To subscribe and you'll be supporting me in my channel and I put up new videos as often as I can. You can join the wonderful Hamish Coven by clicking the join button down below. It'll be down beside the subscribe button if you want to support me and everything that we're doing here to help me pump out more videos to you guys. It'll give you really cool emojis that you can use and you'll also get a really cool badge that changes the longer that you're a member so it helps make your comments look cool. Uh, but that's all I've got time for. I will see you next time with another video. Until then, Haste you back, guys.